in this example, we want to show uh, that the function here is continuous at x equals to 2. So the function we have is a piecewise function, okay? So in order to show this, uh, in short, in order to show this function is continuous at 2, we need to use that formal definition, okay? So we need to show that the function evaluate 2 is defined, and we need to take the, or show that the limit of our function as x approaches 2 exists, and that the limit of our function as x approaches 2 is equal to the function evaluated at 2. Okay, so let's first uh, look at the limit, okay? Um, so in this case, since our function is uh, piecewise here, so we're going to have to look at the left and right-hand limits, okay? So let's, right, so let this be your x-axis, okay? So here's the value of 2. This side's negative, on this side's positive. So as x is approaching 2 from the left, okay, then that means that x is less than 2, okay? So we want to use this part of the function, okay? So we have the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of x squared minus 4x plus 6. So doing a direct substitution here, we're going to get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 6. So that's going to give us, let's see, uh, so 4 and then 8, that's going to give us, so 2, okay? All right. So now we need to look at the, the right-hand limit, okay? All right, so as x is approaching 2 from the right side, okay, that means x is bigger than 2. So we want to use this, okay, this function. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the right side, okay, of minus x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay, we're going to, okay, so doing a direct substitution, we're going to get minus, so we have 2 squared, then the negatives outside, plus 4 times 2 minus 2. Okay. So this, okay, this is going to give us a value of 2. Okay. All right. Okay, so you have, right, because you have minus 4 here plus 8, so that's going to give us uh, 4, and then 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, so now, okay, so this shows us that uh, the overall limit exists, okay? Right, these are equal. Okay. So the limit of our function, of our piecewise function, as x approaches 2 is equal to 2. So the limit exists, okay? So now we need to check the function at, we need to evaluate the function at 2, okay? So we take, evaluate the function at 2, okay? All right, so we want to use, okay. All right, so we want to use uh, this one, okay. We want to use this function here, this bottom part, okay, because that says when x is bigger than or equal to 2, we're using this part of the function, okay. So we're going to have minus 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 2. So that's going to give us a value of 2, okay? All right, so therefore, okay, all right, we showed that the limit of our function as x approaches 2 is equal to the function evaluated 2. Okay, so therefore, okay, we can say that f of x is continuous at x equals to 2, 
Okay. All right. So here's what it looks like. Okay. So we have for the for the top part, right? We had x squared minus 4x plus 6. That's when x is less than 2. So 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 here's 2. Okay. All right. So the top part we had x squared. So this was x squared minus 4x plus what is it 6. Okay. That's when x is less than 2. And then for x bigger bigger than or equal to 2, we had minus x squared. So this was minus x squared plus 4x minus 2. Okay. So you can see it's continuous at 2. And not only that, um, it's continuous everywhere. Uh, because x squared minus 4x plus 6 is a polynomial, right? And we know those are continuous everywhere. And same thing with the, the other part. Okay, x squared minus x squared plus 4x minus 2 is also a polynomial. And we know those are continuous everywhere. Okay, so therefore, because it's continuous at 2, and it's also, it's, and it's also uh, continuous uh, on each of the respective domains. Okay, so therefore this function this function turns out to be continuous everywhere. Okay. All right. Okay. So with these, okay, so whenever you have these piecewise functions, we have to be really careful. We have to see what's happening at um you know we have to see uh there could be a jump or maybe you know there could be like a hole and then you have the, the other part shifted down. Okay, so there could be a variety of things. Um, so we have to be careful on these type of functions. Okay, for particularly with the with the piecewise functions. Okay, but again, this is how you show uh, this is how you show a uh, a function that is continuous at a point.